Why are relationships not working? There's a lot of competition between a man and a woman. So let us go biblically. What did God create when it comes to relationship? God created love. Where should love come from? Your finger has been cut. And then you are told that we are preserving this finger and we will put it in the freezer so that it doesn't um, dry, but it is yours. What does that mean? I will be taking care of that finger because it's mine. See, this is something that is mine, but still I have power over that thing because it's just a mere finger, right? So it means I can take it, I can decide to put it back and, you know, do some operation and surgeries to fix it back because it is just a mere finger. It doesn't make the whole of me. They've just taken a finger. That is how God created a woman. He took just a rib from a man. Then what does that mean? It means man is supposed to protect that finger. Man is supposed to protect what came from him. A rib came from him. He's supposed to be so much in love with that rib, more than the rib is supposed to be in love with him. I've had so many women come on my inbox, come on my WhatsApp and tell me this one word. That you know what, coach? I love this man so much, but I feel like he doesn't love me. I have sacrificed a lot for him because I love him. Unfortunately, I don't see any love coming from him. Then I'll be like, what did you sacrifice? Some people say I sacrificed myself. I sacrificed my job. I sacrificed my family for him. I sacrificed this. I sacrificed that. I sacrificed that. Let me tell you, that was not what God created. God did not create a woman to sacrifice things for the man. And men, please forgive me for this because I'm, I'm going to be a little bit cruel with us. But we need to understand this thing. God never created a woman to sacrifice, to show love. God created a man to sacrifice, to show love. A man sacrificed his rib to create a woman. I want you to go with me step by step so that we understand the basis and the generation and where love came from and who should be loving and sacrificing in a relationship. It doesn't mean that the other side should not sacrifice, but I'll tell you why you are sacrificing the wrong thing. Man was given the power because only one rib was taken. It means the man remained with all the ribs and then the, a woman was created. So the power was given to the man to sacrifice even the rib to create a woman. Ladies, no woman can love a man. You can never ever do whatever you guys think outside there that you're doing to show love to a man. It will never work. You can even sacrifice your own life and die for a man, but you will be losing your life, but they will never love you. A woman doesn't know how to love. God did not put a spirit of romantic love in a woman because a woman cannot sacrifice what a man sacrificed to create her. A man sacrificed his own rib to create the woman. And God knew that the powers that he gave to the man was not that that matches the one that he gave to the woman. So a woman who says that what a man can do, I can do it better, means that you are a woman who doesn't know how to choose which man to relate to. You are choosing the wrong place where the rape was taken. What then should a woman do in a relationship if love has to come from a man? Let me tell you something. When Eve was created, and the Bible says clearly that only a single rape. So if Eve was created from just a rape, it means that Eve as a rape has to be, you know, afraid of that guy, not to feel like you will be killed, but to respect that guy. That is why God did not decide to take man the same way he did when he was creating a man. Because he realized that if he will take the, the man again and create a woman, there will be a competition. 
So he removed just a rib so that the woman could respect the man. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the moment a woman, you know, relationship starts from the woman. It doesn't start with the man. Men come knocking the doors. Every man knocks a door of a woman. It is a woman. You have been given the power as a woman and the authority by God to choose the man that suits where you came from. Remember, you are created from a man's rib. God has given you the power to select, to choose a man that suits you. That is why a man will not force a woman to be in relationship with them. A man will come and will knock the door. And you will say, no, let me think about it. I'll come back to you. When you are saying, let me think about it, it is you as a woman to decide. And what is the determinant figure that women don't look at when it comes to relationship? Women want men who love them. Women want men who are built, who have six pack. Women want men who are driving cars. Women want men who have money already. But women forget that you cannot love a man, you can only respect a man. Remember, you can find a man who is driving a car, but you might not respect him. You might fight as a woman trying to love that man, but you will never love him because there's no respect towards him. And that is what is required of you. A woman is not supposed to love a man. You can't love a man. It's, it's impossible. Love comes from man. A woman is supposed to find a man that she can respect, not a man she can love. You can never love them. A man is supposed to love a woman. Now, the biggest question now comes, what exactly is love? What now is love? If it is men who are supposed to love women, now what exactly is love? I want to, you know, say this as dis a disclaimer. There's one thing that I want to agree with in the statement that Gracious Diema made on TikTok because she's watching on TikTok and she made a statement there. And she said that men of nowadays want to be treated like children. This is where the problem starts. Because the thing is, we have forgotten what love is. We have treated and thought, you know, our thoughts is like love is about baby, honey, you know, I love you so much, taking phone call for six hours, receiving call at the same time it is made, you know, texting, browsing and doing all the rest. We have taken that to be love. Buying birthday gifts, treats, trips, you know, presents, calling you sweet names. Unfortunately, what we are not realizing is the men are also getting the same treats, the same names, and the same kind of phone calls and expectations. That's why there is a competition in relationship more than having a relationship that can bind people together. Now, how does the respect come from a woman? A man can only love you, and that's why it is written even in the Bible that love is not words, it is action. Action. A man does not love you who cannot feel what you feel. A man doesn't love you if he cannot fit in the pain that you have as a woman. A man can give you money. A man can give you, can buy you cars. But if at all you have a car, you have a house, you have money that you want, you go to saloon every week because the man is paying, but you have the pain inside you that he doesn't relate to. That is where love starts to stop. That is why emotionally, Women are so strong and women are now thinking that they can love. Why? Because they can feel, they have the emotions. Emotionally, women have been strong because we have been empowering women since this thing of empowering, empowerment and equality came. When our grandparents were getting married, there was no equality. There was nothing like what a man can do, a woman can do better. What happened is men took care of their women Go and ask your grandma. Go and ask your great-grandma because some of us here are very young. Maybe your grandma are some of my age mates. If that's so, go and ask your great-grandma. What men did that showed love? Love is not those phones. Love is not those presents you are being given. 
It is not those trips you're going together. It is the reflection that a man has, the communication, the relationship that you have emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. You know, a man has to act like a parent to a woman. That is what God created. God created Eve as a daughter to Adam. As a daughter. Imagine Eve came from Adam. So it is like a woman should be like a daughter to that man. Unfortunately, our women want to be like us. They want to take over. I promise you today, my sister, I know the man, right now I'm talking about men, but you're trying to look at your man and you're saying, what is this guy saying? Look, I'm not talking about your man. You can never respect him. And that's why your relationship is not happening. You can't re respect that man. You did the mistake as a woman. You chose the wrong guy. He came with sweet words. He spoke well. He showed you money. He showed you cars. He showed you a future that was not there, and you fell for it. Let me tell you, a man, even that man who doesn't have money, as long as the woman respect that man, the relationship will live longer than people can imagine. I want to ask you something, ladies and gentlemen. Why will it be like a very poor man who doesn't even have a job, who tamaks, who digs for people and maybe gets just some little money, can have a very successful marriage and family back in the village with nothing? They have nothing. This man doesn't even know where lunch is going to come from. He doesn't know what they will eat tomorrow for the breakfast, but they are together with the wife and their marriage is flourishing and you can see success in their marriage, yet they have nothing. And somebody, a billionaire like Billy Gates, can't keep a woman, sorry to say so. A billionaire who has everything, who can even, you know, employ coaches to make their relationship stand, cannot keep it. They go for divorce. Most of the prominent people who have got money, they can't keep it. Why? Because there's no love, people. There's no respect, people. There's no love and there's no respect. People don't know who is supposed to do what. Women are, women are fighting, trying to love men. My dear sister, I want to tell you today one thing. Find a man you can respect. It is better to be in love with a man who has got nothing but you can respect him. When he speaks, you can feel that my man is talking. When he comes home, you speak to him while you all are seated. One sign that will tell you that you respect your man is when your man comes home, you both speak while seated. I don't know if you can imagine, just, just come and think about, think with me, think along with me. Imagine you are sitting on that side and this man is sitting on the other side and you're fighting with words. He's talking and you're talking. That man can never slap you. That woman cannot, you know, grab, even if it is not about relationship, even two friends who are seated, they can never fight. You can never fight physically unless you stand up. So one thing that shows you as a woman that there is respect, I respect this man, is a situation where you find yourself that when he comes home, he sits, then you sit and you start discussing. But if at all that man comes home and before he sits, you start speaking and it is a fight, it is complaining about this, about that, that relationship can live long, but I can tell you, you will never have peace in it. Love will never come from a woman. Women were not created to love. My dear sisters, the Western culture is lying to a lot of us. We have lost the traditional woman. We have lost the woman who wants to stay home. 